Okay, so we're going to look at the hierarchical pose presets here real quick. Because when you have something like this where you've got, uh, say Genesis 2 female, and stuff parented to her, in this case we've got the tail and the wings and then the shell's just hanging out. We've got the tail and the wings parented to her. Um, hierarchical pose presets will let you pose everything with one preset rather than have to hunt them down the old way. Old way would look like this. You'd have you'd have Genesis 2 female selected, you'd apply the pose for Genesis 2 female, and you gotta go find the tail and select the tail, and you gotta find the pose for the tail and apply the pose for the tail, and you gotta find the wings, select the wings, find the poses for the wings, apply the poses for the wings. It's just a lot of clicking to get that one pose. So what you can do to save time, make it much more user friendly, uh, is you go hierarchical pose preset. Save it right there, and you gotta have the right thing selected. You have the top thing in your hier in your hierarchy selected, which in this case is Genesis 2 female. And then you go save as a hierarchical pose preset, and I've already got that here in the full path Lilith. Yes, I'm gonna override it, and it's gonna save through node. Um, you know the base there's Genesis 2 female, it's the hip. It doesn't give you options as to Normally when you save a post preset, you can choose the rotations, the translation, the scale, all that stuff. The hierarchical post preset, it doesn't give you those options. Um, but it does give you the option to save out the information for the tail, for the shell, for the wings also. Down here it gives you the root data. If you check that, it's going to include this information over here, which will restore Genesis 2 female to the center of the scene, which is not the way we like it. So I'm going to uncheck. It's already unchecked. I'm going to uncheck the include root poses. That way, if I position Genesis 2 female in the scene, and then decide I want to apply a pose. That pose doesn't pull her back into the center of the scene so that I have to reposition her. She'll stay where she's at. So I save that pose and if I select all these here, I'll select that one too just for the heck of it. You know, Control Shift F restores the figure. And just to show you that one there, see we got, oops, that's the wings. We'll take Genesis 2 female. And we can move her over here in the scene. Maybe she's standing on a bench. There she is, standing on a bench. And now we come up here and we're going to apply our, our hierarchical pose preset that we just saved. And it poses her, the wings, the tail, and leaves them where they are. And that's the way we like it. It's a lot easier to use for the customers. Um, as an option, because they might want to mix and match, we do still, we'll still include all the various options. But for the one-click solution, the full poses, we'll save them out as hierarchical, or hierarchical pose presets. And make sure that we uncheck that include runes information box so it doesn't reset the base figures.